Russian Orthodox Church in Amsterdam announces split with Moscow Christianity. Here's a summary of the article. A Russian Orthodox Church in Amsterdam has announced it is to split with the Moscow Patriarchate, in the first known instance of a Western-based church cutting ties over the invasion of Ukraine. The statement said the Russian Orthodox Parish of St. Nicholas of Myra had asked the Russian Archbishop of the Diocese of the Netherlands, who is based in The Hague, to grant the church canonical dismissal. The clergy of the parish said they had requested to join the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, the Istanbul-based Orthodox branch, seen as a rival to the Russian Orthodox Church. The Russian Orthodox Church in Amsterdam, which consists of four priests and a deacon, one of the biggest Russian Orthodox congregations in the Netherlands, has been critical of Russia's role in the war since the start of the invasion on 24 February. The statement went against the official policy of the Russian Orthodox Church not to use the word, war, and, invasion, to describe Russia's actions in Ukraine. A Russian member of the church's choir who was standing outside the church told The Guardian she supported the decision to separate from Moscow. In 2018 the Russian Orthodox Church cut ties with the Patriarchate of Constantinople, seen as the spiritual authority of the world's Orthodox Christians, after Bartholomew granted independence to the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, which was previously under Moscow's control. This post received a score of 35,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Significant. The Russian branch isn't independent. It's state-controlled. For the church own integrity, it needed to call out the corrupted portion. If Russia opens back up under a regime change, the Russian branch will have its own insurgency to rebalance itself. The patriarch was literally on TV a few days ago saying Ukraine deserves to be destroyed because the West supports gay marriage. Which is ironic because Ukraine doesn't either. Ukraine has become increasingly pro-Western and pro-LGBT since the 2014 Democratic Revolution. A majority of Americans were against gay marriage 12 years ago. It's a very recent phenomenon. Yeah, it WASN. T that long ago we were determining if gay people could get married. A bunch of us are still fighting to take those rights away again. The pricks. The fight is far from over, but we shall prevail. There is no other way. Church is a censored viewpoint for Putin. This doc has also info on Ukraine churches abandoned Russia. After seven minutes starts this subject. And then the head of the Ukrainian branch of the Russian Orthodox Church, which Putin was about to save, condemns his aggression and compares Putin with Cain. That would be Ukrainian branch of the Eastern Orthodox Church. The Russian Orthodox Church and the Orthodox Church are in schism because the Patriarch of Constantinople recognized the church in Ukraine as autocephalous and independent from Moscow. It's a long story. At the moment in Ukraine there is an autonomic Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate headed by Onufri, a local Orthodox Church of the Patriarchate of Constantinople headed by Epiphanius and a schismatic Orthodox Church of the Kiev Patriarchate headed by Philaret, unrecognized by other churches. But it seems that soon Onufri will separate from Moscow. You see his point of view. Perhaps he will seek reconciliation with Epiphanius. The Patriarch of Moscow is nothing more than a puppet of a tyrant and a disgrace. Along with being a blasphemous heretic but that neither here nor there. A heretic? Go on. Following the orders of a worldly leader while claiming to watch out for your people, as spiritual needs is heresy and also pretty gross. A form of Caesaropapism if you want to put a name on it. Late. Russian Orthodox has been Putin's mafia for some time. And spy outposts. Source? Patriarch Kirill openly attended Czechist Day celebrations lol. It's fairly well known in ex-USSR that all ranking Moscow Patriarchy priests more or less wore KGB insignia under the habit and were appointed by party and KGB. But if you need a source, Wiki has a section. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.